Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. So first of all, I just want to make an announcement, especially to the guys. They always come and they say that they are ready to sacrifice anything. They want to become part of this ritual thing. They want this get rich quick money, no matter the cost, no matter the sacrifice. I just want to say that I don't know any of those people that will offer you that kind of money. There is nothing like easy money in this world. Let me read for you the message that I received via Facebook. It was written like this. Hello, can you please post for me? I was given a charm to put on my clients' heads. I am a hairdresser. I am a young woman from and I have a small saloon in Being a hairdresser was my passion. Since I was in school, I would spend much of my time learning new hairstyle to the extent that my mom was afraid even to sit close to me because I would not spare her hair. When I finished school, I pursued my dream and I thought that it was going to be easy to run this business. I opened a saloon, but at the end of the month, I got to know that I was the one pumping out money for rent and expenses. So I thought of closing the saloon and look for something which will bring me more money than to do this hairdressing. I told myself that I would only do hairdressing things on my free time. I discussed this matter with my workmates and then they just laughed at me saying that you have to be clever young girl. These days it needs charms for you to run a business like this. So they told me and directed me where I was supposed to go and get these charms. I was then given a WhatsApp number. I then communicated with the guy who was supposed to give me these charms for my business. I spoke with him then we made an appointment because he told me that he only sees people only if they've made an appointment with him then he told me that when you come here you have to make sure that you are clean so i didn't understand what kind of cleanliness that he meant because i thought that i was clean enough to go and see him even that day but he told me that Ask the person that has given you that number what I am talking about. So I asked this elderly woman that we worked with in the same hair saloon. I asked her, what does this guy mean when he say that I have to be clean? That woman then told me that make sure that the appointment date that you have set are not the days that you'll be on your periods. And make sure that before you go to his place, at least for four days, you don't have any sexual contact with any man, even masturbate is a taboo make sure that when you go there you are clean and for me it was just an easy thing because at that time i wasn't dating any men even though here and there at night i would touch myself so as to relieve the emotions that i'll be feeling i made sure that for the following four days i didn't even touch myself then i went to his place using the whatsapp live location when i arrived at this guy's house i told him that i was by the gate and he would just blue tick my messages he didn't respond to any of my messages anymore and already i had sent him my money so i thought that i had been scammed like all the scams that are everywhere in our country so i started to knock on the gate all that i wanted was my money then there was a gate man who came out he was very rude i told him that i am here to see your boss so this guy told me that i cannot let you into the compound before my boss gives me the permission because because if he comes out of the house after he has finished his prayers and he finds out that you are with me inside the compound, he might beat me or maybe he might even fire me. Are you going to take care of me? Are you going to take care of my kids? Then I just begged him and I pleaded with him to give me his phone so that I can call his boss. When I called using the gate man's phone, his boss immediately picked up the phone and I asked him and I said, Sir, have you scammed me or of my money if this is just a scam tell me so that i can return to my home before it gets dark because i don't have any money anymore i have given you all of my money even tomorrow i cannot even pay the rent for my business if you have scammed me just tell me instead of making me wait here for you when you know that you have just scammed me he told me that you have to be patient because right now i am praying for you so that your sacrifice can be had 
just be patient and wait for me so i waited for this guy until it was dark maybe it was past 6 or 7 pm then the gate man came out and he said madam now you can enter the compound just walk into the house you will be waiting for you when i went indoors there was no one so i sat down then i saw that there was a piece of paper that was written but the way that it was written it was as if someone had just painted words on that paper it was a number of a room that i was supposed to go to i stood up then i started to look for that room downstairs but in my mind it was as if something was telling me that that room was upstairs so i went upstairs and the door that i was facing the moment that i went upstairs it was the exact number that was written on the piece of paper that i was holding i walked to that room then i entered when i entered into that room i felt this darkness surrounding me there is that darkness that we all know of the darkness when it's night time but this darkness was just different because i felt it so heavy on my body so when I was walking into this room, I had seen that outside there is a switch for the light for that room. So I wanted to go outside so that I can switch on the light and I can see everything that was happening in that room. I just turned around trying to search for the door. Then I felt dizzy and I started to look for that door and I couldn't find that door. Then out of nowhere, I felt a hand grabbing me and it dragged me to the bed. As I was lying in bed, I tried to look around if there was anyone else with me in that room. I lifted my hands trying to see if there was someone on top of me but because of that darkness, I couldn't even see my arms. Then I started to feel this thing pulling my clothes off it stripped me naked then it started to have sexual intercourse with me that was the most painful intercourse that i've ever had in my life it was as if someone was penetrating me using a broken beer bottle the pain was just too much i felt as if my womb was being cut open with this broken beer bottle i tried to scream but the voice could not come out then all of a sudden there was light in that room then i saw that man but i couldn't even see his face up until today i don't even know his face i only knew the house that he told me that that is where he stayed when i went there for the second time they say that they don't even know the man that i was talking about that night what happened is that when there was light in that room that man was already walking out of the room then i looked between my legs there was so much blood and it shows that this man all along he had been collecting the blood that was coming out of my private parts i don't know if this was because of fear of all the things that had happened to me in that room or maybe this is how this juju works because the first thing that i knew is that i was just lying in that bed and i was bleeding so much there was so much blood on the blankets then the next thing i just collapsed and i woke up somewhere around 1 a.m in the morning but i was inside my own hair saloon so in this hair saloon each one have their own working station that you pay rent for each and every month so when we knock off the owner of that hair saloon she's the one who has the keys but she's also a hairdresser she goes home with her keys but how i had gotten into that building i don't even know because i even checked that the doors were locked and i was stuck inside so as i was wondering how i had gotten into this hair saloon i heard voices telling me that to go and put the powder that i was holding in my hands into the hair food that i use on my client's hair so i stood there wondering what is this voice telling me which powder is it now then i just looked down then i saw that with both of my hands i was holding a lot of yellow powder so i walked over to my workstation then i poured all of that powder into the hair food then i mixed it a lot the following morning when everyone came no one even asked me how i had entered into that building without any keys it was as if all of these women that i worked with they knew that this is exactly how this charm works because now i saw that the same way that they were having a lot of clients that is what was happening to me some days i'll have even 20 clients i couldn't even finish 
with these clients on a single day, I started to notice that there was this other particular client of mine. She was a regular customer of mine. She used to come regularly for me to do her hair, but she just stopped coming. So I thought that maybe she had changed hairdressers. So I asked around. Then I was told that that woman had just suddenly died. To me, it didn't affect me. I just thought that maybe it was the way of God. God had called her home. Then once again, it happened to other clients of mine. This happened five times until I started to notice on this other day I was at church because at church I am in the present worship team but I am the worship team leader so we were busy doing our rehearsals for Sunday then all of a sudden I saw that woman walking and she came straight for me so I screamed then everyone just wondered what is it then I pretended as if I had seen an angel I started to pray and everyone started to pray as I was going home that woman was following me but she wasn't speaking to me and I started to have strange dreams seeing my other clients that I had that they had died in my dreams they always come and they will be having very long hair telling me to do their hair in my dreams and if I refuse they start to cry more saying that you are the one who killed us go and tell our people that you are the reason for our death so in my dreams sometimes I chase them away but sometimes they fight with me then on this other particular sunday i was in front doing what i usually do leading people into worshiping god then out of nowhere i saw that right there in front of me that woman who was a regular client of mine was just standing there and she was also singing if i move to the right she would also move to the right if i moved to the left she would also follow each and everything that i was doing so i screamed the the way that I screamed, people thought that maybe this woman have seen another angel. The whole church started to pray and everyone was just screaming, praying for a revelation like the revelation that they thought I had just had. I started to pray, trying to chase this woman away, but she started to multiply until she filled up the whole church. I started to cry. People thought that God was speaking to me. Everyone stopped praying. I just lay there in front of the church crying and crying and crying up until the pastor walked towards me and asked me what God had told me about the congregation and I lied to the pastor telling him that God had just spoken with me telling me that as a church we are supposed to have a great revival and everyone just believed me. My brother this is the situation that I find myself in each and every night I keep on having these dreams they tell me that I have to go and confess. I spoke with that woman from the hair saloon who showed me the directions where I was supposed to go and get these charms. When I spoke with her, she said, I don't even know this charm giver that you are trying to tell me. Are you trying to teach me that in business you have to use charms for you to be successful? You see these hands. I have used these hands to get to the position that I am in right now. All of the women that I used to work with in that hair saloon, they just denied me and they said that they don't even use any charms at all. But on the day when I was telling them that I cannot afford to pay the rent anymore because I don't have clients. After I said that you are the ones who gave me directions to this house so that I can get these charms that are killing all of my clients. Then the owner of that saloon gave me a notice saying that you are disturbing other people from doing their business. So I went back to that house but when I arrived at that house, I saw that the gate man had changed. It let me inside and I spoke with the people who were saying that they are the real owners of that house. I told them that when I came here, there was a man who looked like this. But even though I didn't even see his face, I had seen how his body structure is. So I tried to explain to them that at the gate, there was a man who was like this, who was the gate man. But inside, there was a man who was a prophet who gave me this chance. They say that they don't even know what I was talking about. The other 
Another thing, my brother, is that the first time when I entered into that compound to get my charms, there was a double story house. But the next time when I went back, I saw that that double story house was not there. It was just a normal house. Everything had just changed. So when I was telling them my story, they actually thought that I was someone who was losing their mind. Then they told me that they have stayed at that house for more than 15 years and they don't even have the money or the dreams to build a double story like I was telling them that the first time when I entered into that compound I found out that there was a double story. They told me that maybe I'm having hallucinations I have to go to the hospital. Out of anger I went back to the hair saloon to confront those ladies. I told them that right you're telling me that you don't use any charms. Can you explain to me how is it possible that I entered into this hair saloon without any keys? You found me here inside this building yet you know that I don't have any spare keys or any keys that leads into this building. Then I was shocked. They told me that on that day that I thought that they found me in that building. Actually I was the last person to enter into that hair saloon i was late for work on that day even the receipts that we pay every day for our workstations it shows that i was the last person to pay meaning that i had come to work late because every morning we pay for our daily rentals so after she had showed me the proof that i was the last person to come to work i was embarrassed i just walked out of that hair saloon because i had caused a scene i was shouting at everyone that you people you are using charms to get all of these clients and since that day i have never returned back to that hair saloon again the reason why i have contacted you my brother it is because I keep on having this physical manifestation of this woman. Either I am singing in front of the church or maybe I will be sleeping. This woman keep on visiting me. I don't know what I can do to stop her spirit from troubling me. Please give me advice. Dear listeners, that was a message that I received from one of our listeners via Facebook. Please let us talk about this in the comment section. I'll be back with another episode. And also she told me that I have to cut where she told me the country where she comes from and also where she was having this hair saloon.